Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing some new makeup. Some of this is new to the market. Some of it's just new to me. A lot of it's just new to me. I don't want to spoil anything, but there were some, some winners today. There were some really great products. I am super impressed. So I really want to share these with you guys, let you know what the goods are, what the tea is. We're gonna be creating this matte cut crease sort of moment today. I really like how the look turned out. I really like a lot of these products. So if you like videos like this, if you like testing new drugstore makeup, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and without further ado, let's just go ahead and test out some new makeup. All right, so I actually do have a new product Primer to test today and technically it's not new new but it's new to me so I feel like things are launching so quickly with makeup that by the time I get around to trying it it's like already old news but I've had my eye on this for a while I still really want to try it so I hope it's still fun for you guys to see if you have tried this let me know what you think about it this is the Maybelline 4-in-1 perfector the glow version so I actually have tried the 4-in-1 matte version of this and I actually really like it it's kind of like you love it or you hate it. It's more of a tinted silicone primer, which I really like for quick and easy no makeup makeup days. But let's see how we feel about the glow version. This one has gotten a lot of hype. It's supposedly a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Darling. Oh gosh. If I can get into it. Eh. Five hours later. I got it! I got it! Yeah! Alright. It comes with this little sponge tip applicator and you're supposed to twist it until the product comes out, I'm guessing. Ooh. Let's swatch her on the back of my hand here. Ooh, it feels very wet. <laughs> like, obviously it's wet, it's a liquid, but it feels very more liquidy, I would say, than the Charlotte Tilbury. That one feels almost a bit more creamy. It does seem to have a little bit of a glow to it, but right off the bat, I can already tell you it's not as intense as the Flawless Filter. It seems a bit more natural. And I have the shade Fair Light. Ooh. I'm just gonna apply it like on the sides of my face, really, because I don't wanna highlight the pores I have in the center of my face. And I'm just gonna use my Rare Beauty foundation brush to press that into the skin. Okay, it looks more glowy on my face than it did on the back of my hand. Ooh, it looks really pretty. Super easy to blend in. So it did have a little bit of a tint to it, but once you blend it in, it really kind of disappears and it doesn't really have much coverage, but it could work for like a no makeup makeup day if you just want a really, really sheer tint to the skin. And I actually really like how it looks. It looks so pretty and glowy. I don't see any sparkle or glitter. Do you guys see that glow? I think it looks really nice. I'm really liking it so far. Actually, right off the bat, I can already tell you, I love this a thousand million times more than the e.l.f. Halo Glow filter. I know that's a hot take and a lot of you guys are probably gonna disagree with me. Don't hate me, but I just felt like that one was so thick and greasy on my skin. It had a lot of oil in it and it personally made me break out. This one feels way more liquidy and lightweight, but it still gives a really pretty glow to the skin. So I'm team Maybelline. I feel like so far, as long as this wears well under makeup and doesn't break me out, this is my preferred glow filter from the drugstore. Again, this is not a new foundation and I actually have worn this once or twice, but it's the newest foundation from the drugstore in my collection. It's the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Foundation from ColourPop. I feel like this got a lot of buzz when it first launched a couple years ago and then it kind of fell off the radar. So I picked it up recently because I wanted to see what the hype was all about and test it out for myself. I'm always looking for good complexion products at an affordable price point. This shade's actually a little bit dark for me right now, so I'm gonna go grab my little white mixing pigment, BRB. Okay, I'm back. I just grabbed my little Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment from LA Girl. It's just a white pigment, pretty much, and you can mix this into any of your foundations to lighten them, and it's not gonna change the consistency, as long as you obviously don't add way, way too much. I have the shade Light 45W in the ColourPop foundation, but again, I'm super fair right now. If you've seen any of my last foundation reviews, the e.l.f. one, I'll pop that up top, or the About Face foundation. 
obviously I am picking foundations that are way too deep for my skin right now and I just need to accept the fact that I am super fair. So I'm going to lighten this up just a smidge. A mixeroo. I feel like that's good, right? Yeah, I think that looks good. I might have mixed too much. <laughs> so as I said, I have tried this once before, but I don't really know my thoughts on it quite yet. The shade was a little bit off, so it's hard to judge a foundation if the shade is not right. And I didn't wear it the full day, so. Ooh. So it seems to have about a medium coverage and it's blending in super easily. Just gonna add a smidge more to the forehead. We got a lot of real estate up here and just a little bit more on my nose. For some reason, foundation never wants to stick to my nose. So we're just gonna spread her around here, spread her around, spread her around real good. I think that foundation's looking really good so far. I'll leave a pinned comment or a note in the description box if I notice anything weird with how it wears, but so far, it's looking really pretty. Medium coverage. It seems to have dried down, which I like, so it's not sticky on the skin, but it doesn't look drying. It's a nice, like, natural skin finish. Really nice. Have any of you guys tried this? What are your thoughts? All right, let's do bronzer and blush, and then we'll go in with concealer after to clean it up in case I mess up. <laughs> so I have this Conceal and Perfect Liquid Contour from Milani in the shade 01 Honey. Milani just launched a new like cream potted bronzer, which looks really, really good. So I'm thinking about picking that up, but I've heard so many people raving about this one that I was intrigued and I wanted to test this one out. I've tried the one from e.l.f. in this sort of packaging squeezy tube with the little sponge and I was not a big fan of that one. It was super patchy on me, but as you can see by the little sponge, I have tested this one time before, but I'm still working out my thoughts, so I wanted to test it again for you guys today. It's it's really really new. I've literally only used it about once. I do remember it being pretty fast drying though, so let's do one cheek at a time and that may have been entirely too much product. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this little real techniques I think it's their foundation brush. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. Ah! I'm gonna like spread that around. Oh no, good thing we didn't do concealer yet, friends. I knew it, I knew it. I told y'all, I knew I was gonna mess up here. But it actually, hold up, hold up. That is blending really nicely. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so if you are crazy like me and you mess up and you apply way too much, it blends like a dream. Okay. Okay, Milani. Wow, I like it. I like the tone too. It's not orangey, but it's also not too ashy or gray, which I feel like can look a little bit gaunt-like on me sometimes. I mean, sometimes, don't get me wrong, I'm going for something super cool tone to really chisel out those cheekbones, but it can look a little bit, a little deathly sometimes if you're not careful. That's nice. That blends really easily. And I haven't even squeezed out any more product. The little sponge tip actually holds quite a bit. But yeah, it does seem to dry relatively quick. I mean, not like too quick, like you still have time to work it in, but I wouldn't apply it to your whole face and then try to blend it out. I would just do section by section. And I feel like it melts into the skin so nicely. Let's pop a little bit under the jaw. Hide all that chocolate I've been eating since Christmas. Ooh, it's such a pretty snowy day today. I'm getting all the winter wonderland feels. I love it. It's honestly been a really mild winter so far where I live, so this is one of the first real snows we've had, which I'm excited for. It's really pretty. It's a pain in the butt to shovel, but it's still really pretty. All right, love this. This is amazing. See what all the hype's about. I'll have to see how long it wears, like if it fades super quickly, but it does seem to set down. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be one of those products that just disappear on your cheeks within seconds. So far, so good. We've had a, a bunch of winners so far, guys. I'm so excited. All right, all right, okay. Let's keep going, let's keep it going. Next up, we got this blush. This is from LA Colors. I think I got this at the Dollar General. This is like the more affordable sister brand to LA Girl. And this is their Blush Up Cheek and Lip Cream. I got mine in this really pretty mauve pink shade called Natural Flush. It kind of looks like a lip gloss. It does say you can use it on your lips, so maybe we'll try that out too. I'm not gonna squeeze this directly on my face because I feel like that's just a disaster waiting to happen. 
Seems pretty pigmented and it's not super runny or anything. You can see the consistency there. Let's just start with that much, a little bit, just a tiny little bit. I'm gonna take this little flat top kabuki brush and we'll just work that into the bristles here and start bouncing it onto the face. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It is really pigmented. I feel like that little tiny bit, I still have a little bit on my hand. That little bit on this brush is definitely adequate, more than enough for my skin tone. But I like that it's a little bit more pigmented because that means that the girlies out there with a deeper complexion than I have are gonna be able to use this, which is awesome. Ooh, that looks nice. It doesn't seem to be picking up the foundation beneath it. It doesn't look patchy. Ooh, did we just find a gem from the dollar store? Well, the dollar general, but this is not over $5. I really think it was like two or three bucks. Okay, here we go, here we go. That is a beautiful color. It's like that cold girl look. It's almost like a little raspberry flush. So pretty. I don't remember what other shades they had, but this one's really pretty. I like that. This is really good, really good. I'm gonna quickly apply some concealer. I don't have a new concealer to test out, so I'm just gonna go in with my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm gonna mix Fair and Light. I'm gonna apply that under the eyes, and then we will move on to, oh, I have a highlighter to test. We'll do that, should we do that before? No, we'll do it after because it's a powder highlighter. So I'll do the concealer. I'm gonna set my T-Zone with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, which is one of my holy grail all-time favorite powders because I also don't have a new powder to test and then we'll come back and test out the new highlighter. Okay, I'm back. I applied concealer, powder, and I did do my brows. I just used my handy dandy NYX Lift and Snatch, Snatch brow pen in the shade Ash Brown. So, let's test this highlighter. This is the Dreamlight Highlighter from Moira Cosmetics. I love me some Moira. Their Star Show Shadow Pots are next level amazing. So I'm super excited about this. And when I saw this packaging, I immediately thought Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty highlighter. I have my Rare Beauty highlighter, but mine is, it went through, it went through something. Okay guys, it shattered. I had to repress it. It's just never been fully the same. I mean, it, it still works. It still works. Don't get me wrong. It still works. But it used to look kind of like this, this like smooth domed situation. So when I saw these, I was like, mm, Moira, are you trying to, are you going for a rare beauty? And from swatching this, I think they just might be because this seems really intense, just like the rare beauty. So let's give her a whirl. Let's give her a whirl. Let me just stop chit chatting your ear off here. Where's my highlighter brush? Oh, I need my highlighter brush. Hold. Side note, I have been loving these little liquid lab packets. They have a bunch of electrolytes and good for you stuff that's supposed to help boost your immune system. You just add it to water or juice or whatever. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the taste. It's a little bit like chalky, kind of has that like protein powder aftertaste, but if you put some cranberry juice with it, not bad. And I really feel like it does make a difference. Like if I'm ever feeling a little sluggish, maybe I've been drinking way too much coffee, which I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> I like to drink one of these little liquid lab packets because I feel like it gives me a lot of energy. It just rehydrates my body, reinvigorates me, it opens up my brain, which doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Definitely recommend to check them out. If you drink a lot of coffee and you get dehydrated, they're a lifesaver. Let's jump into this. Let's test this baby. This is Reckless Love 07. And my favorite brush to apply highlighter is this F5 brush from ColourPop. Ooh, do you see that? Wow, wee, wowzers. That is stunning. That is stunning. Ooh, I like that. It's not sparkly, but it is intense. It's not for the faint of heart, but wow, that is gorgeous. I love highlighters, so this is up my alley. Ooh, do you guys see that? Ooh, that's pretty. She is pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. Might need to pick up more shades in that one. Ooh, I likey, I likey, I likey, I likey, I likey. Sweet! Uh, let's do the eyes now. The base is looking fantastic. I got a new, oh, what the? This is leaking? What is happening? 
Let me try to mix it up. Why is this wet? Why is this so wet? This is uh, the eye primer from Juvia's Place. They had a crazy like Black Friday Christmas sale, so I did pick up a couple things from them that I'm gonna be testing soon, but this is being one of them, but it, why is it so, like, do you hear that? It sounds like water in here. It's supposed to be tinted. Like, see the little window? I just hit myself in the face. Try to really shake this thing, stir this thing up here. All right, that's a little better. That was weird. Ooh. Hopefully it still works the same. This is really bright. Oh my goodness. This is really bright. Wow. This is shade one. I guess it's really going to make our eyeshadows pop though, which is nice. This could be really good for some colorful eyeshadow looks. Because those brights are just going to pop on this. Wow. All right. Okay, okay. Jeez, I thought I was fair right now, but this thing is... It's like practically white. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I have this little gilded mini palette from Milani in 130 Champagne Problems. This is one of my little stocking stuffers I got from my mother-in-law, which is so cute. She knows how much I love makeup. I've heard good things about these little mini palettes from Milani, but I've never tried them, so we'll see how the formula is. Mm, I think I kind of want to do like a cut crease sort of action today, but we'll see. I'm just going to take like a skinny pinched sort of brush and I'm going to start with this shade right here for transition. Sort of a nice mid-tone brown. Looks a little warm. I'm going a little bit above my natural crease just because my eyes are a little bit hooded. Well, let me zoom in a little bit here. Is that better? I think so. I might have used too much of this eye primer. I really don't know. This seems really pigmented. All right, let's dip into this slightly deeper, more red tonish brown. Just intensifying the crease a bit in this outer corner. I'm just going a little bit lower than that first shade we used. I'm not really worried about blending just yet. I'm just placing the color where I want it. These are really pigmented mattes. I'm going to go around the edges again with that lighter shade just because I feel like I lost it a little bit. All right, I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. Just start blending those edges. And I'm just taking like the tip of my brush because I'm not trying to apply too much pressure here. I don't want to move the color around too much. I really just want to soften up the edges so they're not as harsh. And then I'm like flicking it out here. All right, not perfect, but good enough. Coffee break. I've been on an espresso kick lately. It gives me a new life, I swear. If you don't want to get addicted to espresso, don't start drinking it because once you have some, it's like superpowers in a can and you can't stop. All right, let's try to cut the crease. Let's just, let's go there. Let's go a little crazy. Haven't done it in so long. This could end really badly, but I like to live on the edge. All right, so I'm just taking a little bit more of that primer. I actually feel like this is going to be really nice for cutting the crease because it's so pigmented. Let's just wing it. We'll stop it like right there and then we'll set that with this matte sort of like yellowish bone shade oh that's a little darker than I was thinking it's gonna be oh well <sighs> getting fallout so funny I didn't get any fallout with any of the darker shades but then like the lightest shade I get fallout and then I'll just take a little bit more of that red tone brown out here. Just on this outer corner here, I'm gonna take the deepest matte brown in the palette. Just stamp that really close to the lash line here. 
I think that looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up off camera, pop on some lashes, mascara, and then we'll be back to do the lips. Okay, I'm back. I finished up the eyes. I just smudged the same exact colors we used on the upper lash line a little bit onto the lower lash line. I didn't buff it out or smoke it out too, too much and popped on some of my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and these Ardell 420 lashes. I cut them in half, so I just applied them to the outer corners and that's all I did on the lashes and then I set my brows with my Milani Clear Brow Gel. Oh, and I also used a matte white from a different palette in the inner corner just because I feel like there wasn't a light enough shade in this palette for my inner corners personally. This shade, the one that I used all over the lid, was actually a lot darker, as you saw, on my lids than it looks in the pan. So I thought it would be too dark for the inner corner, so I just went and popped on a different matte inner corner highlight. But other than that, I really like this palette. I think it's super pigmented. The mattes seem really, really, really smooth, not patchy. I'll have to keep playing with it. I didn't test the shimmers out, obviously, but so far, I think it's a really good option from the drugstore. And last but not least, we have some lip options. So I have two lip liners from Moira to show you guys. So these are not first impressions, but they're very new in my collection. I've only worn them a couple times, but I can already tell you, I love them. I'm obsessed with them. These are the Milani Lip Appeal Waterproof Liners. I picked them up when I picked up the highlighter because if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for a long lasting lip liner and these are very long lasting. So I'm so excited that I found these. I love love, love, love creamy, long-lasting lip liners. That is my jam. I have two shades. After Party is the lighter pinky nude, and I also have the deeper brown called Discreet. This pinky juicy number you see swatched here is the lip product I want to test. This is from Makeup Revolution. Uh, what is the name of this? It doesn't have the name of it on the packaging. I'll pop it up on the screen. I picked them up because it looked like one of those really nice, juicy, sheer lip balms that are super trendy right now, sort of like the Makeup by Mario ones or the MAC Squirt Stick things. But this is way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a sheer, juicy balm. This looks like an opaque gloss. I don't know if it's really gonna go with the look we have, but we'll try to make it work. I guess we'll go in with the, the more nude one, the pinky one. I feel like it matches a little better. So again, this is After Party. These are like the little twist up liners. I really, really like these. All right, and then in the center, we'll just go in with a tiny bit of this. It has like a little click up and you can't bring it back down. So don't click it up too much. She is pigmented. I'm just pressing it in with my finger. I mean, it looks shiny. It's a tiny bit sticky though. And I just don't love how pigmented it is, especially this shade. Maybe if I had a different shade. Oh, it's sort of minty, like tingly on the lips. Are these supposed to be plumping? Hmm, I think it looks fine sheared out like this, but I'm not a huge fan of the color and I don't super love how it feels. It feels a little bit sticky, so. Okay, not my favorite. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I really love how this look turned out. I'm a little rusty, so I might have landed it a little too high. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. It's good enough, right? Let me just give you a quick rundown of all of the products that we tried today. So far, I really like this 4-in-1 Glow Makeup from Maybelline. It seems really pretty on the skin. It gives you that nice like skincare glowy finish, not glittery, not sparkly. And I like that it doesn't feel super thick or heavy on the skin. So I'll keep touching this and let you guys know, but so far, so good. The Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop, I like it, but I'm not sure I love it. I'll leave a comment down below and let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. I think it looks good. It doesn't look the most undetectable on the skin. It looks a tiny, tiny bit makeup-y, but maybe I just applied a bit too much. I like it though. It's not terrible. It's not the best I've ever tried. It's not the worst I've ever tried. I think it's pretty good. So I'll keep testing that out. What else did we try? What else did we try? Oh, these cheek products. I love both of these. These are really, really good options from the drugstore, especially this one. I cannot believe I got this at the Dollar General. Like this blush is still on my cheeks. Can you see it? This blush has not faded. It is still vibrant. After I set my face, after I finished everything else up, it's still hanging around. And I love the color. I love how pigmented this was. And most of all, I love the price point. So definitely we'll be checking out more shades of this. I think this is really nice. And I also really like the Milani Conceal and Perfect 
little liquid contour. I love this 10 times thousand percent, hundred thousand million percent more than the e.l.f. Halo Glow wands. This one was not patchy at all. Really good. The Moira highlighter, if you like to glow, honey, this is for you. This is for you. This is gorgeous. I love it. I want more shades. I want all the shades. Definitely check out Moira if you've never tried them. This eyeshadow primer, I don't know. It seems okay. Like the shadows applied fine over top of it, but I didn't like how it was super liquidy and gross when I first opened it. That might have just happened during transit during shipping. It mixed up fine. I like how bright it is because then it really makes the shadows pop. So I'm going to keep using it. I like it. I'm a little bit scared of it, but we'll see. And then this eyeshadow palette. Again, I haven't used the shimmers, but the mattes are really pigmented, really velvety, not patchy. And yeah, so far I really like it. The one thing I will say is just with this particular color story, I wish there was something a little bit brighter. For my personal taste, this matte is not super, super bright, but that's just me being really picky. Other than that, I think it's a really great option. So yeah, guys, that was us testing out some new, new to me, affordable makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.